son. He's going to usher one of them out. Everybody's over here. Please stand. Y'all may be seated. Welcome, family and friends and loved ones. We gather here today to celebrate the wedding of Emily and Song. You've come here to share this formal commitment they make to one another, to offer your love and support for this union, and to allow Emily and Saul to start their married life together, surrounded by the people who are dearest and most important to them. So welcome to one and all. Those who have traveled far and those who have traveled not so far. 
Emily and Saul, thank you for your presence here today and now ask for your blessing, your encouragement, and your lifelong support for their decision to be married. Now, marriage is perhaps the greatest and most challenging adventure of human relationships. No ceremony can create your marriage. Only you can do that. And you do it through love and patience, through dedication and perseverance, through talking and listening, helping and supporting and believing in each other, through tenderness and laughter, through the willingness to forgive and the willingness to learn to accept your differences. And by learning to make the important things matter and let the rest just go. What this ceremony can do is to witness and to affirm the choice you have made to stand together as life mates and partners. Will you, Saul, take this woman to be your wedded wife? I do. Will you, Emily, take this man to be your wedded husband? I do. Good. Who presents this woman to be married to this man? I do. Good. Now I'm going to share with you a little little reading from an author, yes, not yet, uh, <laughs> named Robert Folger, about this day. You have known each other from the very first glance of acquaintance to this point of commitment. At some point you decided to marry. From that moment of yes to this moment of yes, Indeed, you have been making commitments in many informal ways. All of those conversations that were held in a car, or over a meal, or during long walks, even conversations with the hot dog present. That's not in here. All those conversations that began with when we're married and continued with I will and you will and we will. All those late night talks that included someday and somehow and maybe. And all those promises that are unspoken matters of the heart. All these common things and more are the real process of a wedding. The symbolic vows you're about to make are a way of saying to one another, you know all those things we promised and hoped and dreamed. Well, I meant it. Every single word. Look at one another now. And remember this moment in time. Before this moment, you've been many things to one another. Acquaintance, friend, companion, lover, dancing partner, even teacher, for you have learned much from one another in these, these past few years. Shortly, you shall say words that will take you across the threshold of life, and things between you will never quite be the same. For after today, you shall say to the world, this is my husband. This is my wife. Now, two people in love don't live in isolation. Their love is a source of strength from which they may nourish not only each other, but also the world around them. And in turn, we, their community of friends and family, have a responsibility to this couple. By our steadfast care, respect, and love, we support their marriage and the new family they're creating today. If you're able, would everybody rise? Will you, who are present here today, surround Saul and Emily in love, offering them the joys of your friendship? and supporting them in their marriage. I do. Thank you. Y'all may be seated. We've come to the part of the ceremony when you're about to make your vows to one another. 
But before you do that, I ask you to remember that love, which is rooted in faith and acceptance, will be the foundation of an abiding and deepening relationship. No other ties are more tender. No other vows are more sacred than those you're about to assume. If you are able to keep the vows you take today, not because of any religious or civic law, but out of a desire to love and be loved by another person fully, without limitation, then your life will have joy and the home you establish will be a place in which you both find direction for your growth, your freedom, and your responsibility. Emily, would you hand your flowers over? And would you turn and would you face one another and join hands? And Saul, what I'd like you to do is I want you to look as deeply as you can into Emily's eyes and repeat these words after me. I, Saul, take you, Emily. I, Saul, take you, Emily. To be my wife. To be my wife. My constant friend and partner. My constant friend and partner. And my love. And my love. I want to spend I want to spend the rest of my life with you. The rest of my life with you. I vow to love and serve you. I vow to love and serve you as long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. I take you with all your faults and strengths. I take you with all your faults and strengths. As I offer myself to you. As I offer myself to you. With all my faults and strengths. With all my faults and strengths. Above all. Above all, I will give you my love freely. I will give you my love freely. And unconditionally. And unconditionally. I pledge this to you. I pledge this to you. From the bottom of my heart. From the bottom of my heart. For all the days of our lives. For all the days of our lives. Now, Emily, I want you to look as deeply as you can into Saul's eyes and repeat these words after me. I, Emily, take you, Saul. I, Emily, take you, Saul. To be my husband. To be my husband. My constant friend and partner. My constant friend and partner. And my love. And my love. I want to spend. I want to spend. The rest of my life with you. The rest of my life with you. I vow to love and serve you. I vow to love and serve you. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. I take you with all your faults and strengths. I take you with all your faults and strengths. As I offer myself to you. As I offer myself to you. With all my faults and strengths. With all my faults and strengths. Above all. Above all. I will give you my love freely. I will give you my love freely. And unconditionally. And unconditionally. I pledge this to you. I pledge this to you. From the bottom of my heart. From the bottom of my heart. For all the days of our lives. For all the days of our lives. Good. May I have the rings, please? Now, Saul, so take Emily's ring and place it on the fourth finger of her left hand and repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a daily reminder of my love for you. As a daily reminder of my love for you. And Emily, take Saul's ring and put it on the fourth finger of his left hand and repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a daily reminder of my love for you. As a daily reminder of my love for you. Good. <laughs> By the power of your love and commitment, and the power vested in me by the glorious Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. I pronounce you to be husband and wife. You may kiss one another. Bravo. Bravo. And, and it is with great pleasure that I take this opportunity to introduce for the very first time in human history. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Saul Iscardo.